What up, bros, nose, peeps, and creeps? This is Bodala coming to you live from the nest. Uh, this is going to be a video response. Uh, it's going to be a very serious one. Um, it is in defense of PewDiePie. Um, now, a lot of people have been recently uh, kind of against PewDiePie. Um, he's been getting a lot of negative attention. Um, but, I mean, that's to be expected with his fame on YouTube. Uh, at the same time, a lot of people are trying to just uh, bash his fans. Um, and so this is me uh, trying to defend against that. Um, first off, uh, for all the arguments I've seen against PewDiePie, they've all been, oh, well, you, uh, you only care about money. Uh, he puts out more videos a day than I could even dream to, like, imagine. Like... It's pretty difficult to edit videos and to put them out, and the fact that he also went to engineering school and decided to take this path instead proves he's completely dedicated to his fans in every way, shape, and form, and I don't think that, I don't think that was ever in question. I don't think he ever really was only focused on the money. I mean, if it's his job, yeah, he has to make a profit, um, but that's secondary to it. It's not his primary goal. He really enjoys what he does, and he's really sincere in all of his videos. Uh, I also hear, on that note, I also hear a lot of people think he's faking. Um, first off, like, how would you even be able to tell? Like, I mean, if he was lip-syncing or something, that'd be one thing, which that'd be stupid to do just for, like, YouTube videos, because that doesn't even make sense. Like, it's not like you're, it's not like you're doing this, like, necessarily live with no chance of editing it so lip syncing just seems kind of ridiculous and who would even care if that was the case um so it's like there isn't really like how would he you can't even tell that he's like how do you know whether his emotions are genuine or not like i i honestly i wouldn't be able to tell like what are you some like renowned psychologist uh, because if you are, then we'll speak further, but I, I highly doubt that anyone could tell whether or not his emotions are genuine, so I think that that argument is already invalid. Um, but I really think he is sincere, uh, mainly because there's no reason not to be, because everyone loves him for who he is, um, not who he tries to be, or something like that. So yeah. Um, in terms of his fan base, everybody has weird fans and everybody has normal fans um, when they're famous. It's not like it's not like there's any in between. There are really strange fans for everybody. There are fans of Russell Crowe who try to kidnap him and uh, just keep them to him themselves. They're literally psychotic and they're really weird. Um, and then there are fans of Russell Crowe who just like to see his movies. Um, but the idea is that whenever you have a fan base, you have a mixed pot. And it's not like it's not like everybody can control their fan base in the first place. PewDiePie specifically reaches out to many different types of fan bases, and that's how I'm a fan of him. I don't enjoy all of his videos, but I enjoy a lot of them, mainly because he reaches out in like many different directions towards many different people. Um and I think that's pretty amazing. Like, he originally started off doing horror, and as funny as I thought those were, it got old pretty fast. And, um, he started doing other things, you know? Uh, and Happy Wheels was one of them. I found Happy Wheels to be very amusing. Um, so, I mean, he's constantly trying new things for his fans, and he's constantly trying to, um, make his fans happy. I think he's entirely dedicated to his fans. I don't think he needed to do this apology at all. Um, and it's something that he shouldn't have ever had to feel bad about. Um, I really honestly think that everyone who did overreact is just that, overreacting. Or they're just jealous of his fame and his fans. But, um, in all honesty, the reason he has fans is because there are many, many people who enjoy watching his videos. And they're not all stupid. Uh, so, the general idea there is that you can't just assume an entire fan base or a person uh, is stupid based on videos or based on comments. Um, 
because that's kind of just ignorant of what the real situation is. The real situation is that PewDiePie is famous because he's earned his fame. It's not like, it's not like he just kind of, like, I don't even know. It's not like he was born from somebody who was famous. He legitimately made his name on YouTube. And, yeah, a lot of people said he had help from, I think, Nova. But, I mean, everybody needs at least a hand on YouTube from other YouTubers. Because otherwise, no one can become famous. Uh, honestly, PewDiePie is an inspiration to up-and-coming YouTubers like me. Um, and I, I love his videos. I, I love what he's doing. And I hope he continues to do it. Um, now in addressing uh, PewDiePie, Pewds, keep doing what you're doing. Everybody loves you. Everybody cares about you. And don't let the haters bring you down. This is Bodala signing out.